Hello everyone. Welcome to the course on data structure and algorithm. In this video, we are going to see how do we convert uh, postfix uh, notations to pre-infix notations. So let us take a couple of examples. The very first example is uh, this expression given already in postfix notation and we wish to convert this into infix uh, notation. So um, like a previous case, if you have referred uh, the previous video of infix to postfix, we'll be you know, scanning this from left to right and every time we'll be taking uh, you know, one character at a time. So if unlike in our infix to postfix conversion where we used to push you know the operators on the stack what we are going to do over here we are not going to push operator on the stack we are going to push uh, you know the operand on the stack and depending on operator will be popping operand so this is how it differs from the previous case so let us see this one by one so that you will understand so let us scan it from left to right so we'll go from left to right so first it will be the very first character a so what we are going to do let me draw the stack over here so initially the stack is empty now the very first is operand a so what we are going to do we are going to push the operand on the stack so we are going to push the operand on the stack then next is again another operand b so that we are going to push it on the stack so this is nothing but my stack you can visualize like this so this is nothing but my stack so you can visualize like this next comes minus that means now we'll be popping we'll be popping uh, these uh, two up because this is a binary operand so it needs two up this minus is binary operator so it needs two operands so first we'll be popping this b and we'll be putting it in the right side then we'll be popping a then we'll be putting it left side and then we will be putting this minus so it will be a minus b so the moment minus comes it will remove both the operands so the moment minus comes it will remove both the uh, operands from the stack so stack is empty now so i'm having this a minus b and stack is now empty the stack is now empty and a minus b let me just put it somewhere over here this a minus b though there are no brackets but i'm just putting it for the sake of it so this part is over this part is over now let us start from this this and this so now c d and e these are operands so we are going to push them c d and e we are going to push them so look at it c d and e so these are nothing but you can visualize this like this c d and e c d and e and the moment now you see plus what will happen will be popping will be popping two because plus is also what kind of operator it's a binary operator so it needs two operands so we'll be you know having this uh, uh, e and d both pop together so i'm going to put e on the right hand side d on the left hand side and then i'm going to add them so now i'm having this d plus e so now i'm having d plus e all right so let me just remove this from the stack so d and e are removed d and e are removed all right now comes uh, look at this uh, uh, next comes multiplication so multiplication means now we are having uh, you know one only one uh, operand on the stack so c multiply by what so multiply by the last you know output so that is d into e so i'm going to multiply this so now we can have something like this all right so now let me just erase everything let me erase everything so that now this is blank all right so now i have covered up to this point i have covered up to this point uh, multiplication okay then now comes plus so we know that plus now there is no nothing on the st stack but now we are having two sub expression these and these so i'm going to add them together so now in output i'll be having something like this so if i write you know somewhere over here it's a minus b was already there then uh, d plus e multiplied by c was already there and then now i'm going to put this plus 
now I am going to put this plus over here so now this is done so whole thing is done all right and then comes F and G so then comes push F push G and then comes plus so F and G will be popped F and G will be popped and then it becomes F and G and lastly I'm having minus that means this whole expression minus F plus G whole expression now let us see everything one by one let me clear everything and then look at this let me start from scratch okay so initially I'm having a, a so that I have pushed on the stack then B then I have pushed on the stack so this is my stack and then moment I get minus all right I'll be popping and so now answer is a minus B next comes C D and E next comes C D and E so C D and E are push on the stack this way all right next comes E sorry plus so plus means I'm going to pop the topmost thing D and E so D and E are popped and plus is added now next comes multiplication so look at this we are only having one thing so that is multiplied by that D and E so C multiplied by D and E so now I am having this is a separate expression this is a se separate expression and there is no connection between them but the moment now you see plus that means now this is the connection so now it is A minus B and C multiplied by D plus E so now I am having you know connection between them the plus so this plus is added all right so let me just remove everything again all right so the moment plus so now this whole expression is complete so up to this point everything is over now i'm having two more operands f and g so i'm going to push f i'm going to push g and the moment i get plus so i'm going to pull, pop f and g so i'm going to pop f and g and i'm going to add them so now these two are two separate expression but there is no connection there is no you know operator between them so the moment I get minus, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that minus in between. So let me just remove everything and uh, look at this. So just a second. Okay. And then the moment I get minus, you know, this minus, I'm going to put it over here. So now this becomes the whole expression. So let us take one more example. So things will be more clear. So I'm having, uh, you know, expression. This is postfix expression. I have put comma just for the sake of, you know, clarity. Otherwise, you don't need comma. So we'll be reading from, you know, this left side and we'll be going all the way up to this right side. Let us start doing it. All right. So first I'm having 12. So I'm pushing it over here, then seven, then three. So, so this is my stack having three numbers. 12 7 and 3 so it goes like this then I'm having minus so I'm going to pop the topmost two operands all right so I'm going to pop, pop those so 7 and 3 are popped so 7 minus 3 then I'm having division so that I'm going to pop one more thing so 12 divided by 7 minus 3 then I am having 2 1 and 5 so 2 1 and 5 all these are push on the stack all these are push on the stack but the moment i get plus what will happen i'll be popping two operands so i'll be popping one and five from top and i'm adding the moment i get multiplication still i have one more operand so i'm going to pop and then i'm going to multiply it so now i'm having this expression and now i'm having this expression but there is no connection there is no operator between so lastly i'm having plus so that i'm going to put it over here so if I remove this, uh, that plus will be over here. So this is how you convert post fix operator into in fix, uh, post fix notation or post fix expression into in fix expression. So thank you guys for watching this video. In our next video, we'll be uh, taking another topic recursion.